Good day everyone and I thank you for clicking on this video, you can count on me to share important information. Recently, Philippine Navy Flag Officer in Command Vice Admiral Toribio Odachi visited the Jinhae Naval Base in South Korea for two Philippine Corvettes, and he visited the Integrated Training Center of the Submarine in South Korea. And here they again offered a Jang Bogo 3 submarine with a training package for the crew. And because of this, is this the potential that the Philippine Navy will take? In September executives from Hanwha Ocean formally submitted the latest 2,800-ton Jang Bogo 3 submarine to the Philippine Navy for its updated proposal. The 77-meter diesel electric submarines with a total beam of 9.7 meters are equipped with the latest propulsion system and lithium-ion battery technology that will ensure the Philippines' improved defense capabilities to safeguard its sovereignty and strategic maritime interests, Hanwha Ocean Vice President Steve S. K. Jung said in a press briefing in Manila last September. Jung added that the two-boat submarine offer, aimed at meeting the Philippine Navy's $97 billion budget, is part of a submarine force package that includes training, technology transfer, safety and integrated logistics support, simulators and a maintenance yard in Subic. The government-to-government -government agreement involves a long-term loan with delivery within seven years once a deal is signed. The Jang Bogo 3 submarines are currently being operated by the Republic of Korean Navy for two years. Each ship is armed with six torpedo tubes capable of also firing anti-ship missiles, has a submerged speed of 21 knots and can hold up to 41 personnel. In addition, submarines are equipped with an air-independent propulsion system, which allows these vehicles to extend their endurance and underwater range. However, this capability is still subject to negotiation depending on the requirements of the Philippine Navy. Information from a Hanwha Ocean handout said the lithium-ion battery has a shorter charging time and will allow six days of operation without charging the battery. The offered submarines also boast a shorter maintenance period compared to models offered by rivals. Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering DSME, before it was rebranded as Hanwha Ocean earlier this year, previously offered its 1,400-ton submarine to the Philippine Navy. It has been building submarines since the 1980s. Jung, a retired Korean Navy Vice Admiral, said acquiring the submarines was a more economical option in the long term. Some people say that buying, building a submarine force is expensive. It looks like we're putting in more money the first time but in the long run it's cheaper than building a surface force, he said. The South China Sea, he said, is the most troubled place in the world today, calling for the need for improved intelligence gathering and deterrence. It is wise to prepare for the security of your country," he added. Aside from Hanwha Ocean, France's naval group and Spain's Naventia also offer submarines to the Philippine Navy.